An educational comedy. It's not a cause. Not a movement. It's not a social group you can slap a label on. It's an idea. It's an intention. It's an intuition. A mindset in which reality can be explored. The genuine expression. The soul. Critical thinking and imagination. To look inward upon ourselves. To better understand the external world around us. And yes, few egos are bound to be bruised. With our silly, zany, politically incorrect, your common gilded style of going about things. Real, Real and raw honesty. honesty. Which invites you to be you to the fullest. Hello everybody, we are in the process of renovating this old yucky room, so as you can see everything's getting all stripped down and we're patching up the walls and we're going to repaint and, you know, do all this all this crazy stuff, so of course, you know, there's layers of plaster being, being added. Well, come on in, Dad, you're a part of this presentation. Um, but sometimes the, pra the plaster will, will chip and fall out and all that and we're also narrow-minded and brainwashed and reading labels and believing everything that they say because the educational system makes us idiots. So we aren't taught how to think outside the box. We're not thinking about the ingredients in each thing and what those ingredients do. So um, my dad is going to teach you how to think outside the box when it comes to filling um, gaps with, uh, you know, loose... Uh, um, plaster, because this sometimes happens, and he used something that you wouldn't normally think to use. Okay, let me explain this. These openings here were plastered, but apparently somebody sprayed something on the wall, and when we were putting the skim coat on, it would not adhere good. So after the plaster was dry, it started to bubble up, and we had to scrape it off, and we're back to the old wall so I have to fill that again but I know it's just going to peel off so what I did is I went shopping uh, looking for uh, different chemicals and stuff to use and I came across it's a concrete bonding material now you wouldn't think that would work but it works beautiful I will put this bonding material on this wall I will plaster over it later on we will show you how it held up and this will the plaster will not come off I've used it in bathrooms for tiles when we had to put drywall on and there was a problem with the drywall and the glue for the tiles would not stick I use this stuff and now it sticks perfect so it's amazing what you can find and try and if you read what this says I don't know if you can get it where you're at but I can get it where I'm at and it saved me a lot of trouble a lot of time and I made money off of it yeah because how how much would you say that like you know like how much is that bottle it's about ten dollars about ten dollars and it, you know if if someone had to use the whole bottle for this how, how many walls do you think it would cover oh uh, well you can put this out with a roller I figured it, uh, an 8x10 room, it would cover it with a roller. The entire thing. Right. So this, ten, ten, 10 bucks for an 8x10 right. room. This I, I covered with a brush. Yeah. A little brush. I just put it on. Yeah, but if you've got a wall that's got got that sort of thing going on everywhere and you don't want to do it, just, right. you know, you could you could you take it. A, you can, use, you can a roller. use a roller, a paint and roller. And roll it on. And just roll it on, yeah. Yep. So 10, 10 bucks for an 8x10 room instead of what they want to charge you for inferior it's products. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Not bad. And later, we, um, well, later being in a moment from your perspective, um, we'll, we'll show you how it turned out. And as you can see, everything uh, sealed up just fine. It's, uh, you know, it's all good. And here's, uh, here's Stan now doing... Uh, more work in the room here there's been some paint or primer or whatever this is uh, going up in here but uh 
yeah as as you can see everything is uh is fine and um the wall is smooth and you know after all the plaster finishes drying and stuff and he finishes up plastering the rest here um you know then uh, it'll be able to be painted and no problem so uh as you can see it works fine and here we see the completed plaster job And you can see that there are no holes. The plaster is not falling out. And everything is completely fine. So the concrete bonding agent did its job quite perfectly. As you can see. The only steps left will be to um, put primer over it and um, to you know, paint it, and then that's that. So there's the do-it-yourself, save some money, and don't get screwed way of fixing your walls.